Hello everyone, welcome back to the Smite Guide to Zonkui. This is Zonkui in Slash. Now you may be wondering, Professor, you haven't done Zonkui mid in Conquest yet. This is because getting mid in Conquest can be a bit of an extended effort. Uh, so I'll actually be recording that on uh, on and for Saturday, where I will have more time with which to record said episode. So... That's really the plan there. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to do Slash. Now, when you're picking how you want to play Zonkui in non-conquest modes, you really are adapting to your team composition. For example, right now I can see we don't have a serious dedicated tank, and while we don't want to necessarily be playing full tank Zong, something you kind of can do, but I really don't recommend it, we definitely can play ourselves solo lane Zonkui. So we'll be going in that general direction. We'll probably do some improvisation based on the enemy team composition, but that's generally where we're going to want to be taking this overall. Let's be Diamond here. So they have, uh, yeah, they've got a pretty hefty amount of damage dealers, uh, I'm sorry, not damage dealers, tanks. They have a small amount of damage dealers. They don't have a hunter. That's very interesting. Okay. So yeah, we're going to probably do an interesting hybrid build here, splashing a little bit of protections in with our delicious damage output. I am leaning towards going auto attacks, primarily because... Ah, uh, not necessarily. Well, yeah, uh, auto attacks would work. I could get myself a nice 10-20% penetration going on there, which would be nice. We'll have to see. I definitely will want to open up with, based on their composition, Shogun's Kusari would be really strong, but I don't know what starter item I'll want. That's an interesting question. Hmm. I have a couple of good options. Actually, if I'm... Hmm. Well, anyways. Let's go with Sands of Time, and then we're going to be looking at... Well, we want to actually grab some damage first. We're going to go for Spear of the Magus right off the top. Uh, we're going to go for multi-potions in Slash. Now, the reason why is because we do have a built-in self-heal, but it's very weak at this point. And, of course, Aegis. Again, I was just checking to make sure that there wasn't anybody mentally that I would need beads for. There is not such a situation here. Even if a Willish pulls... Actually, technically it's pronounced a Willish. Even if a Willish pulls us in, we've got our Aegis going on. So, I'm not too concerned about it overall. So we're going to take the multi-potion. Well, anyways, back to the multi-potions. We do have a weak, you know, opening heal. We do have a heal, though, so we don't want to focus entirely on health potions. But we also want some mana regeneration, too. So the multi-potions really help with both of these at the same time. So that's really why you're going to be running that. This is also why you very specifically get all three abilities, is just because the combination of them all is just too useful. Oh, that's unfortunate. I tried to save her, but I was way too late with that. It looks like that's a damage Kuzenbo, which is a fairly interesting concept. We're going to go ahead and activate our multi-potion here. We can probably make something happen here. No, we cannot. That is definitely a damage Kuzenbo. There is no way he does that much damage without... Yeah, he's got Tainted Steel. Alright, looks like he's actually going more hybrid, which is fair enough. Not sure what the Morgan's problem here is, but that's fair enough. So... We're just going to have to play a little bit more cautiously. Let me help you out with that. Alright. So we're going to have to go a bit more aggressive with certain things than we originally anticipated. Um, they're definitely building enough damage to pose a serious threat, even with three tanks. So we're going to have to silence you. We're not going to F6 just because we lost the first team fight. That's absolutely ridiculous. Get some poke going on here. He's looking for the alt. 
I thought he was going to go a little farther than that. All right, fair enough. And I'll just get some nice farm here. We have our ults. So that's good. Nope. Uh, I'm dead now. Yeah. That's fair enough. They're very aggressive, so we're going to have to play very safe here. This is going... We're going to have to be much safer than I was originally anticipating. Okay. Why is she building tank? Morgan does not play tank well. But oh well. That was a good attempt. I can understand where she was coming from with that. Notice I'm increasing my stun first. It's clearly based on their aggression. We are going to need that. I'm actually going to head left. It looks like we're pretty safe to cross at this point. Yeah, we are. We're fine. I don't want everyone to be over in right lane. Alright. Good. We got the poke in on him. I'm not sure how that didn't hit him, but okay. I'm not sure how she didn't hit him. We're going to fall back here. You you can't tangle this. We'll be able to heal back. That's not really a huge problem. They are waiting to attack me. Very specifically, you can see it. We're going to be just be playing way far back here. Because I know there's somebody right back there. I just saw them go back there. Here they come. Yeah. I will at least get the assist for that, so that's something. I'm not really surprised that I died there. They were willing to commit for that. I'm just glad I was able to do enough damage to help Bastet take that. The problem is, is we're not grouping up. And they are. They're all grouped up, we're not grouped up. This is the primary issue here. I'm going to need that better heal. I'm most concerned about my wave clear at this point. But this is the problem, is they're all grouping up, and we are just not grouping up. Good, good. His ult won't be up yet. He'll stun me just for the poke, but... No, he didn't even hit that, he was after the best at. Alright. So now that we have... There we go. The difference that this makes alone is absolutely insane. You want to mess with me? Here comes Kuzumbo. That's going to be a bit of a problem, I think. I would like... I can kill... No, I can't kill Poseidon. Not with Geb there. I was going to say, I can kill Poseidon right now if I really needed to, but I, I do not have that capacity anymore. Not with Geb there. Geb is coming in hot. Not anymore, he isn't. This is a cute try, though. Give him that. Oh, now you're dead. Oh, nice. Nice. Now I'm going to die here, but that's entirely my fault. Oh, no, I'm not going to die here. Oh, he did kill me. With it. That was a good Kappa throw. That was an excellent Kappa throw. Now, I have to make an interesting decision here. Do I want to keep going with the abilities and build Soul Reaver at the end, or do I want to go with the auto attacks and go Telkine's Ring? And that's going to be the interesting question. I think I'm going to go abilities here. Uh, we're still going to use Shogun's Kusari, though, just to increase the auto attacks. It also gives me cooldowns, so it will be useful. My physical protections will probably be something along the lines of... That's a really good question. What do I want for my physical protections? Mystical Mail? No. Well, maybe. Maybe. 
All right. Got some nice gear there. How am I at the same level as you? Aren't you doing... You're doing okay. You're not way ahead of me in terms of score, so... All right, and then she's dead because we're not grouping up. And that's basically what it's coming down to. I timed that decently well. Almost have full stacks, which is nice. Full passive stacks. Yeah, I see you over there, a wheelish. Kukulun is too aggressive. At least for where we're at currently. Nope. He's gonna go after a quick lane. That was a good jump. That was a well-timed jump. Alright. Okay. Hello? Interesting. Interesting play. Nice. Good play, good play. Anyone else want to come at me? He tried. He thought about it. I was too ready for him, though, I think. Uh, should probably just go for a breastplate of valor. That's fine. We're going to use... No. We're going to use blink. Okay. Go ahead and grab that there. That's fine. No, you don't want to fight? Why are we... Not today, Zerg. Alright. At least we got the uh, the Juggernaut, though. Nope, sorry. I'm gonna die for this, though. Yep. I don't know why they backed off. What are they being held back by? Odin? Alone? Interesting. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. That almost killed him. Alright. Okay. Off we go. I think we have an actual opportunity here. Bastet's in position to take advantage. Kuzumbo is in the jungle over here. Come on. Nice. Alright. Go over here and clear out this lane so I can actually get some experience here. Nice. No. You guys stop. Behave. You gonna ult me? You are! Alright. Just do this for a second. Hi, Cook Lane. Thank you for the assist. <laughs> that kind of backfired, didn't it, now? Nope, there I go. Ah, well. At least I put up a good fight. Took out, uh, whatever their name was. 
a wheelish, a wheelish. Now at this point, I have the protections I want. And now I'm going to go for Soul Reaver. And then after that, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to take this. Oh, I need full. Okay, no, I need penetration. I'm going to get Opshard. Definitely get Opshard here. Still can't believe the Morgans. I mean, even though the... Uh, right from the beginning, Tainted Steel. Okay. Just get Divine Ruin. My goodness. You build like trash and then you complain? What? Get slapped. What are you gonna do, punk? That's what I thought. <laughs> no, get out of my face. I have my protections up. I'm not quite so easy to kill. I'm wondering if they'll adapt, but I'm doubting it. Good. We can take this tower. Nice play, nice ult. Yes. Just stun him there. Boom. And my delicious kill. Oh, they're back. We gotta play this carefully because I'm not in any kind of condition. We're actually not at all. In, none of us are in any condition to be fighting this. This is a really bad call, by the way. Cooklane's call. I can understand why he's making it. I just understand that it's a very bad call here. He just wasted his... Alright, that's a bit of a strange decision to be making there, but sure. I really just want to kill Poseidon, or at least have him killed. That's fine. That, that works for me. That's good enough. I wanted to stop their counter momentum, and Poseidon was the key to doing that. Wheelish may have laughed over my dead body, but that's because she's sore, uh, considering her score on the fact that she's really having a hard time killing me by herself when I'm a mage, and that's not great for her. Um, and this is mostly because you know, her build is fine, except for Mana Conceptor, which is not something you normally want to... Well, I know it's the evolution that she's looking for, but there's better starts than Mana Conceptor, honestly. Bluestone is absolutely amazing on her, for instance. You know, otherwise, the rest of her build is fine. This should have been second item, though. The Hydra's Event is just so strong on a Wheelish that it really should be second, uh, second item on her. How you doing? You, you missed that? Excuse me? No, you're not going anywhere, son. Okay. I almost took all three of them out. Really? Well, except for a, a wheelish. I would have taken the other two out if it hadn't been for a wheelish, so that's a little unfortunate. But it looks like they stayed. They overstayed too. Uh, Poseidon got out. It doesn't look like Odin's likely to. No, he's dead. He's dead. They're using. Uh, no, he, he's going to get out. No, wait. Is she going to overcommit? She is. That's unfortunate, but that's fine. At this point, I'm going to one-op shard. Just because of how tanky the enemy team is overall. Oh, okay. Well, that's fun. Okay. Sure. Well, I might as well make a stand, right? That was a cute try. It really was. Unfortunately, the Geb using his shield on him made that extremely predictable. Poseidon, how you doing? Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna die for this. <laughs> By Jove, I'd made a, a valiant effort to protect the Titan there. 
I made an attempt. I made an attempt. I'm still probably going to post this because even though this is obviously a terrible game, um, it is at least nice to see a bit of a variety in enemy team compositions and how flexible Zonkwi really can be and how even in dire, hideously ugly circumstances, you can still turn him around and do decently well with him. I mean, I still have a positive KDA despite it being a 3v5 at this point. And that's nothing to sneeze at. And once I get Obsidian Shard, that should get even better. So, I'm not that upset overall. Uh, my starter item turned out to have backfired. This isn't really going to work out the way I wanted it to, but... Okay. I'll probably get alternate timeline just for the stats. I don't generally like alternate timeline because it's generally trash. Well, let me rephrase that. It's passive is generally trash. The stats on it are good. I just don't like the passive... I'm going to die here, because Poseidon just showed up. They weren't going to be able to kill me by themselves. It's Poseidon that's really going to kill me here, yeah. Get the Obshar going here? Okay. And now we're just going to save up for alt timeline. Uh, just for the stats. 10% cooldown, which will put me at 40%, even though I really don't need it. Uh, Rod of Tahuti might be a better choice, actually. I might sell it in exchange for Rod of Tahuti. A pause vote? Alright, let's pause it. I'm a little surprised. But anyways, I why would we No, we're going to we're going to take our loss like heroes. Anyways, um it is interesting to see just how effective Zonkwi really can be even in adverse circumstances and I think he's not used as often as I think he should be just because he doesn't have an escape, but as you can see, if you're really careful with your stun, you can really get a lot done very strongly. And I just think that Zonkui is a better mage than a lot of people give him credit for. He has such great, he has such an amazing kit that even though he has no escape, his kit really makes up for it really well. And I do really think he's underused overall. I'm going to be able to... Come on. Oh, I tried. But I just want you to just kind of see how potentially useful he still can be, even in adverse circumstances. I broke even in my KDA, despite it being a really bad situation overall. Um, and I just want you to understand that with just a bit of practice, Zonkwi can really do some amazing things. And also shout out to the Medusa and the Kuglane for fighting through and not surrendering. Um, otherwise, yeah, absolutely, it was an un a very unfortunate game, I will give you that. It was very unfortunate that we had a, a Morgan who had no idea how to build and was very easily upset. It is unfortunate that Bastet gave up partway through. I think possibly we could have done more if, we might have even been able to turn that around if the Bastet had stayed. We were making a gradual comeback. I mean, at the end, we had 23 to 31, so we weren't doing that bad. We were only 300 gold down. Um, so I'm pretty happy with my performance here. The starter item, I think, is the only item here I regret. If I had known it was going to go downhill so quickly, I would have built something like Tainted Steel. Uh, I think, you know, Zonkwi can actually get away with Tainted Steel, where the Morrigan cannot. Or possibly I could have gone into the Vampiric Cloak and gotten some more lifesteal out of it and then been able to use that to recover. Uh, but I wasn't anticipating it to go south that quickly. But overall, uh, my build was primarily to help me stay alive and deal with the tanks. It turned out okay. It would have turned out better if, again, we had the full team. But I just want you to really come away with understanding that Zonkui is really quite versatile. And I will be doing another Slash. This was a terrible example of Zonkui Slash gameplay. This is more just to illustrate, uh, in a rare scenario, how well he can play from behind. Again, I broke even, which is fantastic, um, considering the situation. So, yeah, just... Don't underestimate Zonkui or what he can do just because he hasn't gotten escape. He doesn't need one. If you're the kind of person who likes to fight to the end and take enemies with you, Zonkwi is a great mage for you because you basically are trying to do that. You just pop your ult before, you know, when you're uh, when you're in an ugly situation like you you're you once you play the game enough, 
uh, you just understand right away, oh, this is a situation I'm probably going to die in. Pop your ult, pop your Aegis, last as long as possible, get that extra long stun, heal yourself off the enemy team, just go absolutely ballistic and try everything you've got, and then just take as many people as you can with you. That's basically what Zonkwe tries to do in a bad situation. And it works out really well a lot of the time. So, yeah, with that being said, just Thank you all very much for joining me. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, ideas, suggestions, or requests, please leave them down in the comment section below. And uh, thank you for joining me, and have a great 24 hours.